The next thing we're going to talk about is qualifying ratios. Remember when we talk about qualifying for a loan, that the borrower has to qualify in two different ways. First, the borrower has to qualify with what's called a monthly housing expense ratio, sometimes also referred to as a front-end ratio. What that does is takes the borrower's mortgage payment, which is principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, and divides it by their gross monthly income. The second ratio is what's called the back-end ratio, or the total obligations ratio. In this case, the borrower's total obligations, including things like car payments and student loans and credit cards, are all added together with the mortgage payment to make sure that the borrower qualifies for their whole debt load, not just for the mortgage payment. And again, this is called total obligations ratio, sometimes referred to as a back-end ratio. This question tells you that a couple had a combined gross monthly income of $4,750 a house payment of $1,150, and other monthly obligations, including car payments of $285, student loans of $125, credit cards of $550. And the question says, or asks, what are their housing expense and total obligations ratios? And then the question asks also, do they qualify for a loan? So let's go and do the math and see what happens here for this couple. The Front-end ratio, or monthly housing expense ratio, again, is the payment, principal interest, taxes, and insurance, divided by gross monthly income. In this case, you were told that their mortgage payment was $1,150 and that their combined monthly income was $4,750. Just plug those two numbers into your calculator and divide, and you will find that their front-end ratio is 24%. Now, part of the question was whether they qualify for a loan or not, and the answer here is yes, because typically they can go as high as 28% for conventional loans or 31% for FHA loans as of the time of this video. Be careful before you take your state exam or class exam to check your notes and make sure that these ratios have not changed since this video was produced. But so far, this couple does qualify on the front end. Now, let's take a look at the back end. In this case, the principal interest taxes and insurance, which was $1,150, will be the mortgage payment, will be added in, but we also have to add back all the monthly debts and then divide by the gross monthly income. In this case, the $1,150 was the mortgage payment. Their other debts were a total of $960. We'll add those two together, divide by $4,750, and in this case, the back end or total obligations ratio is 44%. Now, again, take a look at your book to make sure that these ratios are current, but 44% is generally outside the guidelines for FHA, VA, and conventional loans as of the time that this video was produced.